I do research in several different areas. I really started out doing a lot of research in social support. Um, in the area of social support, I'm interested in more broadly how social support buffers kids from negative outcomes. I'm also interested in how we measure social support in the lives of kids and looking at social support from important sources that kids receive support from, such as parents and teachers. Um, more recently, I've been doing research and looking at bullying and victimization in schools, and that sort of got started by looking at how social support might buffer kids that are being bullied in schools from the negative outcomes that you might typically see for kids that are experiencing victimization. That has really expanded. I've done, um, I've recently had students do research projects in looking at bullying in schools with expanding it to cyber victimization. So creating a measure of how to assess online victimization and looking at outcomes for that, as well as bystanders in bullying and looking at the role bystanders play. So I've kind of elaborated that and I've been spending a lot more time more recently. And I had a student propose their thesis this morning looking at um, kids with high functioning autism and how they might experience more victimization as they're included in school and how that's related to negative outcomes like anxiety and depression. Um, in the last area, I'm also interested in research on attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. And a lot of that research is sort of the social functioning of kids with ADHD, as well as professional issues just about working with kids with ADHD and assessment and intervention with, with those children. So the two graduate courses I teach, I've taught several classes since I've been here, but right now the two I'm teaching, I teach professional school psychology, which I love because it's first year students that come in first semester. And so it's really an introduction to the field of school psychology. So. Um, I think it's an exciting time for them. They're just starting graduate school, so we cover all kinds of the role of the school psychologist, professional e issues, legal ethical issues, and um, really is an introduction to the career. So that's always a really fun class. The other class I teach is social emotional assessment of children, and that class um, we look at the broad social emotional assessment of children. And so it includes screening, um, assessment, case studies, and again, has been a really great class. A couple years ago, we did a fun project in that class. All of us reviewed one of the newer topics in the field was social emotional screening. So school-wide screening of kids with social emotional and behavior problems. And so we did a, um, each student in the class did a review of a social emotional screening measure. And we ended up um, making that class assignment. We ended up presenting that at our state conference, a review of social emotional screening measures. We also presented it at our national conference. We also presented it here locally at what we call showcase trainings, where we opened it up to the local community and um, raised some money and provided that training. And right now it is submitted for publication. So actually we're, we should be hearing any minute, we're waiting to hear. So that, that one class project, we turned into a couple of uh, local national presentations and it's currently submitted for publication. So it's a fun class, there's all kinds of great opportunities. We did the same thing this year, um, chose a new topic and we have just submitted that new topic, which is progress monitoring social emotional behavioral skills and interventions, and now we have just this summer submitted that to NASP for the National Conference of School Psychologists.